is more than a store. store. Do the work yourself. P is more than a store. We're truck and Jeep experts and have been for over 50 years. From wheel and tire upgrades to full custom builds, 4WP has you covered. Whether you want to order the best parts online or shop in store, do the work yourself or get it done by a pro, all roads lead to 4WP. Do your rig right. Shop online or find your store at 4WP.com. All right, guys, we are back. It is now 11 o'clock. We are uh, only got an hour left in this day, in the first day of the 2018 Baja 1000. This Our update is brought to you guys by Four Wheel Parts. Big thanks to all the guys over there at Four Wheel Parts, Joey D, all those guys for hooking it up, giving you guys some updates so you know what's going on. Uh, first of all, it looks like the first quad is about to finish. The 1A, they got about uh, 30 miles to go or so, and then the first quad will be finished. So we'll see what uh, what what happens once they finish, but they got a little ways to go. The rest of the bikes are kind of working their way up. The uh, Nothing really to talk about with the bikes. Haven't really heard any much updates or anything with those guys. So we'll kind of just skip right down. Let's go look at the leader. So the 6 is in front of the 11 still, we think. They keep going back and forth. As you saw that video I just posted, thanks to Jerry at Camberg. He's on the beach at 6.30. Um, the six is literally about 300 feet in front of the 11 coming around a corner back there at mile 630. So good race going on between the six and the 11. The 11 started behind them a ways and the six started in front. So if the 11 just stays where he is right now. Technically, he's going to be the, uh, the winner on time. So we'll see what ends up happening. Um, the 83 is on the highway. That's why you see him right here. He's been broken. So Luke is out of the race. Bummer for him. The number 31, Andy, they're making some time back up. Uh, Tavo's in the truck. They had a couple uh, flat tires earlier, had some issues, but they're going again. So they're uh, catching back up to the 16 a little bit. Cameron is out of the truck right now. Pat Dean is in there, and then Cameron and Cody are going to get back in and take it to the finish in a couple miles. So we'll see what uh, Cameron can do once he gets back in. Uh, we'll see what's going on there. We got Dan McMillan back here. He's coming along. He is currently in, uh, in fifth place. Just a few miles behind those guys. And then Bryce Menzies is behind him, uh, currently in sixth place. And then back to the 70, Kevin Thompson. So pretty much everything's staying the same up here. Not much of a change in the front. Uh, at least this last hour, not much has changed. I come back here. Uh, BJ Baldwin, a couple guys were asking about him. He's still going. Uh, good to see him going. I believe Todd LeDuc is probably in the truck at this point, if I had to guess. Uh, that was the plan. That was his second driver was Todd LaDuke. And then uh, in the 23, this is uh, Gary Wyrick, I believe, uh, in here. Dan McMillan is out. I know he's out because I was texting him a little bit ago. So he's out, and Wyrick is in taking that to the finish. So they had a pretty good run so far. Next, we'll uh, let's see, we'll close this. And thanks to uh, Baja Kits, we're going to go take a look at the Trophy Truck Spec class. So this update brought to you guys by Baja Kits, BajaKits.com. This update, we have not much change. The 200 is still running out front. He's been out front pretty much all day, so nothing to report there. The uh, 234, Jason McNeil, is in second, just like he was last hour. No true that, um, no change there. Then we have Sarah Price moving back up. She's up to third place, and Chad Dorman. Um, so it's a fight for third between those two. So that's your uh, trophy truck spec class. And then, uh, oh, the 232, the mango truck, uh, they blew a motor. We heard they blew a motor, so bummer for the, them. They haven't had a, uh, a motor issue in a long time, so that's pretty rare for them to have a motor issue. So bummer for Chelsea and all them, but they had a pretty good race going up until that point. All right, next, we're going to go look, thanks to Four Wheel Parts, also at the Pro UTV class. So this is the 2900 class. As you can see here, we have Wayne Matlock, then we have Derek Murray, and Reese Millen, the same three that's been for the last few hours. Uh, that's the same, same, no change there, nothing much going on there. Uh, 29, 21, 29, 40. Let's go look at the other UTV class and see if uh, if she ever got moving yet. Oh, all right, so Kristen Matlock still zero miles an hour. Uh, not looking very good for her. The other pro UTV naturally aspirated cars are quickly closing in and are going to be on her pretty soon. She was, uh, she was kicking butt and had a good day all morning, um, but it looks like now they're having a little bit of an issue. So that's them. 
Uh, let's see. What are you guys asking for? What about Bryce? Is his tracker still off? No, we just showed Bryce at the top. His tracker was on. Uh, we'll go look at him again. He was running. Or which Bryce are you guys talking about? You guys talking about Swain or which Bryce are you looking for? Bryce Menzies is up here. He's at mile 602, um, if that's who you're talking about. Let's see. Back in the trophy truck spec, we had... who. So you might be talking about Bryce Swain. That's probably who you're talking about. His tracker is off still. So we have no idea where he is. I haven't heard any any updates as far as uh, the 242. Earlier in the day, we heard they were up front. So I don't really know. We haven't heard an update, and his tracker is not working. If he had a fish logistics tracker, it would be working. So there you go. Whoever is looking for 242, tell him to run a fish logistics tracker next race, and you guys will know where he's at. All right, so that's that. What class do you guys want to see? Let me know right now. You got about two minutes to ask for classes. Um, 4,400, that, that race is over, the heavy the hammer truck. Um, the only person going is Casey Curry. Shannon Campbell came on the radio and said that he is out of the race. So Casey Curry is the only car left in the 4,400 class, and he's still going. So the win is his as long as he finishes. So that's your, uh, that's your update there. Somebody says, yeah, I saw the Rob Mack pass on the highway. Looks like Rob will need to have a penalty. Yeah, he might be getting a penalty. If you guys um, see, I know the video's been going all over the place. Rob Mack had a little pass on Ryan Arciero. Some people think it was illegal. Some people think it was legal. It's up to debate. We're going to have to wait and see at the end of it. Um, we also just got a video of, uh, of the number six truck trying to pass Luke McMillan on the highway and actually almost taking him out and clipping the corner of him. So uh, we just posted that also. Maybe the number six is going to have a little bit of an issue uh, on the highway. I don't know why these guys are getting so crazy on the highway. Like They should just, uh, you know, I mean, nowadays everyone's everywhere with a video camera. So whatever you do during this race, it's going to show up somewhere. And if I don't post it, it's going to get posted 20 other places. So it doesn't really matter. So that's the way I look at it. I post all the videos that we get. We don't play favorites. You know, if you do something stupid in the race, that's up to you. Don't do something stupid and we won't have to post a video of you, I guess. So class eight, we have the 827 down here. Pretty pretty big lead. Not much of anybody else in that class. Someone's saying, is Luke in the six now? Yes, so Luke Johnson is in the six. So let's go back to the front since there's not much going on in these other classes right now. So yeah, Luke Johnson is driving the six. He's in here. In the number 11, we have Jason Voss. So Jason Voss is in the number 11. In the number 16 right now is Pat Dean, but Cameron Steele is going to be getting back in. In the 31, it is Tavo in right now, and Tavo, I believe, is taking it all the way to the finish. I don't think the plan was for Andy to get back in. So the only person doing another driver change here is going to be Cameron is going to jump back in the number 16. So that's the front up there. Let's, what do you guys want? Class one real quick. Some people are asking for. That's a good one to go look at probably. Class one, the leader is Justin Davis. He's at almost a mile 500. He is leading. Um, the second car is not Brian Wilson. They are out of the race. They are going on the, uh, on the highway. <coughs> so it might look like Brian is in second, but he's not. He's actually over here on the highway. Second place is Brandon Bailey, the 129. And third place is Brad Wilson. They are still in the race. So Brad Wilson, third place. Sam Barry in fourth place. Looks like Mason Cullen in fifth. And Shelby Reed down here at zero miles an hour in sixth. So that's the top uh, class one cars. There's some more back here. If I didn't call their name, they're not tracking or they're back a ways. We can go look at class 10. So class 10, we have a lead change, I'm told. So the 1068, oh yeah, here we go. So Cody Reed has been re leading almost all day, but it looks like they have come to a screeching halt at race mile 440. They are no longer in the lead in class 10. So that puts Ruben Torres, it appears, in the lead in class 10 with Rafael coming up on the 1068. So that's a big change in class 10 there. That's the first lead change we've seen pretty much all day in class 10. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit of news in class 10 for you guys. What's people saying? Is Voss going to finish? Yeah, the plan is for Voss to finish in Rob's truck, I believe, unless Rob's going to get back in. But I don't think he would, especially if they're in the front. <clears throat> Let's see. What other classes do you guys want to see real quick before we go? All right. Somebody wants to see class one. We already did that. Class 12. <clears throat> Here's class 12, 1206. Freddy's in first. Uh, Miguel is in second, but he's at zero miles an hour. And Jeremy Davis is in third. 
Oh, I know the other class we can check real quick, the seven. We had a good race going on here for a little while. So where is uh, Shamley? Is he still stopped here? All right, so, so it was Shamley was in front. Then he got stuck. Then Pat Daly got in the 709. He passed Shamley. Then he got stuck. Then Shamley got unstuck and got restuck right behind Pat. So they're literally parked. Uh, this is zoomed in, way, way zoomed in. Look at, they're literally next to each other. All right, so Pat's gone 2,000 feet in the past 10 minutes is what I'm being told. So these guys are, I mean, look at Pat's going 0 0.1, maybe. He's going 0. So class 7, that's your two leaders right there. They're literally stuck next to each other. So I wonder if they're helping each other or not. Then we have the 711 is also stuck. So the third place class 7 truck is stuck. So th this whole section right here, I knew it when we pre-ran. This is going to be a total cluster. Um, Let's see. I mean, look at we turn on all the cars. Look at how many cars are stuck in this section. I bet you almost all these. Jordan Brenthal, zero miles an hour. Sixteen twenty one, one mile an hour. This whole pile right here, zero, 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 zero. There's like twenty or thirty cars probably in this section right here, all at zero miles an hour. So if you're looking for your car and they haven't come yet, chances are <clears throat> they're probably right here, stuck in the silt. And once you get out of one spot of silt, you go right up to the next spot of silt. So this is going to be a while. So anybody waiting for your limited class car and they're around 380, good luck. All right. So you know who's not stuck right here? If you look around, these guys and the freaking golf carts. The golf carts are not getting stuck like always because they have four-wheel drive. So we can talk smack on the golf carts and it's kind of fun, but when it comes down to it, they don't get stuck right here where all these other limited cars get stuck. I mean, some of these cars are three hundred thousand uh, dollar, you know, trophy truck specs that are that are stuck here, and you have a thirty thousand dollar, fifty thousand dollar golf cart, you know, just driving right by them. So props to those guys. Those things are definitely come a long way nowadays. I mean, you got ten cars stuck, sixteen cars. Every class is stuck in here except for the four wheel drive uh, UTVs. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this update. I am losing my voice, so we'll be back at midnight. And uh, we'll see you guys then. I'm still predicting the trucks are going to finish around two, which looks pretty right because they have about 150 miles to go, which is about three hours if they're doing 50 miles an hour. So right around two o'clock, if you want to take a nap for an hour or two, get back up at two and we'll have the winner for you. But we'll, we'll be back at uh, midnight with your next update. All right, guys, once again, thanks to uh, Four Wheel Parts for sponsoring this hour. Ford WP is more than a store. We're truck and Jeep experts and have been for over 50 years. From wheel and tire upgrades to full custom builds, Ford WP has you covered. Whether you want to order the best parts online or shop in store, do the work yourself or get it done by a pro, all roads lead to Ford WP. Do your rig right. Shop online or find your store at FordWP.com.